All right. My name's Aya. I'm a feminine shaman for personal sessions. Links below. Butterflies, if you've been seeing them as an animal totem for you, have they been landing on you? Have they been kissing you? Have they been fluttering past you? Have you been seeing a lot of them? Well, let's see what spirit wants to say about them. We know the common meanings for butterflies is you're going through a transformation. You're very beautiful. Butterflies are such a beautiful symbol. Joy, 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 I'm hearing. Joy, joy, joy. Wanting to take you out of the heaviness and focusing. Spirit wants you to focus on joy more on ple the pleasures of life taking flight being fluttery being social you don't have to just focus on your healing journey in a certain way there's things you might be missing out on um because why 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 because you're asleep to a certain part of yourself you're fearful of a certain part of yourself it's just in the darkness, butterfly. Seeing that the animal totem of the butterfly, Metatron, the recording angel, advancement and progress, teaches, guides, and records events in the book of life. Seeing the butterfly, the oracle, animal totem of the butterfly, Hakamaya, angel 16, loyalty, delivery, from those who seek to oppress and brings victory, loyalty, respect, and dignity. The raising God. The raising. See, it's about lifting you up. Raising you up. And then Uriel, the fire God, disruption, warns of disasters, aids, and transformation. Ha, 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 ha. So, yeah. So, you're, you're in the fires of transformation. You're being raised up. You're advancing, you're progressing. Um, the events are being recorded in a book of life. You're being looked after. You are gaining loyalty, respect, and dignity within yourself while you're in the cocoon. The process seems to be a bit arduous. It may not be easy. You make it look easy, though, because you're fluttering around. The generous God, Angel 25, and this Haya, spiritual wisdom and magic, helps one gain wisdom and discover hidden secrets. Beautiful. Sitael, Angel 3, the God of hope, construction of the universe, help with great works, protection from adversaries. And this is under Angel 16, loyalty, respect, and dignity. So you're building a whole new you. You're not even going to recognize yourself after this transformation is over. Angel 35, the God of joy. Wow. So out of the fire of transformation, you will be joyful. Reconciliation regains the favor of those one has offended. So even um, as you go through this transformation process, there may be relationships that have taken its course, run its course, taken its toll on you, on them. Trans when you are stirred up inside, when you're transforming, it stirs up everything around you. And some people may not be appreciating the changes you're making because that means they have to change the way they treat you with loyalty, dignity, and respect. All right? You're not having it any other way. You're like, I am positive. I am changing. I am growing. This is the new me. Respect it. Get with it or get lost. And but as you change and transform and you start understanding that this respect, loyalty and dignity that you've been searching for your whole life, it comes from you and you lay up, up off of other people for real. You back up off of other people and needing other people to be something they may not be right now. And that's where we end up cutting people off. Right. When we finally get it. Oh, this is where they're at. This is where I'm at. And you find your joy for yourself the same way they need to find their joy, not just from you being the way they want you to be. It goes both ways. Angel 58, ILL, God hearing lamentations, mental force, protects against sorrows and illness. So, yeah, this process can take a little toll. And sometimes you do have to purge 
Um, the gentle God perception of unity protects against accidents, heals the sick. Angel 63, Ana Yuel. So we have God hearing limitations and the gentle God. Remember to be kind and gentle to yourself as you heal and you go through this process. I'm looking at the time. Angel 37, Anayel. God, Lord of all virtues. God within, change within will change my world without. And then we have Dhammabaya, Angel 65. God, the source of wisdom, fountain of wisdom, gives success in all ventures. You don't have anything to worry about. Sometimes, you know, you might get a little weary. It might get a little bumpy. It might get a little, you might feel like, uh, is this process ever going to end? Yes, this particular transformation you're going to will come to an end. Will you ever stop learning and expanding? No. So kind of maybe if you can, Try to get used to it <laughs> a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Try to think of it as just part of the process of being here in this galaxy, in this universe, in this dimension, or being here. Like, if you want to show up, it's here. Everything has its purpose, its place, its job, its function. Um, one transformation you get through and you'll feel like, oh, that was so hard. I feel so much joy. Expansion always leads to joy. But it also, in, in order to expand, you constrict first. You go, you go, uh, uh, you, you feel the smallness, you feel, um, the hurt, the pain, the, you get in there, you get in the crevices and then, after you become okay with those parts of yourself, because you, you realize you can't change anything. <laughs> That's what transformation is really about. The more you can accept that you can't change, <laughs> you can allow things to be the way they are and you focus on joy and do what you want to do. And so then life will unfold how it wants to unfold and you will remain joyful because that is what you focus on, regardless of how things look, appear on the outside. OK, that might make some people feel ick, but that's your business. It's not theirs. Because it seems like part of your transformation is letting go of need and validation from others. Baby. Okay. I have an idea of why that came out. Do I want to trust my first mind on that? Ecclesiastic. Okay. Interesting. Marriage. That reminds me of the Holy Trinity. The father, son, the fa the mother, the father, and the child. And here we have two priests here. It's like you're being like, you know, christened. You're make you made a commitment and you're giving birth to your new self. The gentleness card is about you being kind to yourself as you because you're in the birthing process. And it looks like some of you, congratulations. Have given because that's that's what I was seeing in this energy. If not, if not now, but soon, you will give birth to your new self, and you're now you're learning all over again. This is what people don't talk about about the transformation process: is that when one karmic lesson ends, by the skin of your teeth. <laughs> And you gain strength, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and you're stronger and you're bigger. And you're the big fish in the little pond now. It's time for you to expand to become the little fish in the big pond again. And you're starting new ideas, new projects, new adventures, maybe new relationships. And you're a brand new self that you have never really explored all the way yet. Time. And now you have to nurture and love and be gentle and kind towards this baby and it's beautiful 
and and you're worthy of that. Congratulations once again. I hope this reading has helped you. Feel free to contact me for personal sessions. Peace.